Hello world, oh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Um, in the toy again. I pick up Janet tonight at the airport. So next tomorrow, you'll be seeing her. You'll see her in this video. And um, right now, I'm going to get my tattoo. It's only an hour away and I've got like an hour and 40 minutes. But as you can see, the weather's not the best. So I want, I'd rather get there early than late. And you know me, I get a bit excited about things and I don't want to wait. So I'm off to get tattooed. This is Sunneth Tattoo. I'm a little early. They, tell, they don't open till 10. So, but this is where I'm getting done. Ooh, it was a nice ride. Good practice. Because tomorrow I've got Janet. So I just, it was an hour to get here about. So it was good practice. Tomorrow we're going to do for like five hours, I think, to Candy. And, um, so it's better than doing the big one first off. I got to practice today. Made my mark. And this is my tattooist, Keith. Yeah. And um, we're just having a look at a few designs. This is a dance Sri Lankan dancing mask. I think we've decided on that. And, um, but I'll show you a bit more when we're tattooing. Yeah. Good morning, look who's with me. <laughs> How exciting. We're on the road to Candy. I didn't film at the airport last night when I picked Janet up because that was a bit personal. But we're on the road to Candy. Look at this guys. I would have been filming as we were going along but we had Spotify going so I didn't want us to get copyrighted. But for now we're going to hit the road a bit further. We'll speak to you up the road. Janet's in charge of the GoPro so any of these action shots you can blame on her. Our first stop for the day. We didn't need fuel, we've only done about 40 kilometres. But um, everyone's smiling, they want to be on film. <laughs> yeah, Janet just needed to visit the lady, so we pulled over here. Another 20 minutes or so, we'll actually stop, have a cold drink, maybe something to eat. Oh. And guys, I thought 40 kilometres an hour was going to be boring as hell, but everyone's doing the same speed or slower, so it doesn't feel like you're doing nothing. I'm having a ball, I'm having a lot of fun. Janet's got a big grin in the back seat, so she's not upset, I don't think. Yeehaw! No idea where we are. No idea what this is because everything's in local language. But isn't this beautiful, guys? I love Google Maps. This is what we've been driving on for about the last three quarters of an hour. And it looks like there's a little restaurant up there. So we might stop and have a snack, I think. Just amazing. Even Janet's grinning in the back. Just, um... Are you enjoying, baby? Yeah. It's yes, great, I'm... isn't it? Well, we made it to Candy, guys. Sorry I didn't film much, but it was just Janet and I having a day together first time for ages. Janet's dead. If you, she only flew in midnight last night, arrived, and that was a 24-hour flight, pretty much. Well, not 24 hours flight, but 24 hours travelling. And then I was nagging her this morning to, hurry up, let's go, I'm excited, I'm excited. But look at this, my friends. It's pouring with rain right now, but it's the mountains, we're surrounded. We paid maybe ooh, 15 US a night, that's at the most. Maybe probably more like 12 US a night for this. Just beautiful. And Wi-Fi, so we'll get to sit out here tonight, watch Netflix. Amazing, we're here for two nights, we'll go and explore candy tomorrow. And then um, with pretty sure we're going to head down south but this weather will be following us around because it's wet season if we go north we can get better weather but i really want to see the elephant road uh, i can't remember the name of the highway the b52 or something but that's not it and i want to see gaul the big ford in gaul so but we'll see we're free we've got the tuk-tuk and guys i'm not sore i thought i'd be sore after a big day because this was a big day we left maybe 10, 11, we're about 11. It must be 5, 5.30 now. 
What time is it, baby? What time is it? Oh, it's only five o'clock. Oh, and here's the man with our Wi-Fi. Excellent. Perfect place for it as well, because we can sit out here and watch Netflix. Good morning. Look at this. What a thing to wake up to. Unbelievable. When I showed you yesterday, it was raining. It's beautiful now. But what an even more beautiful thing to wake up to. My no. darling wife, who doesn't want to be on film. <laughs> Amazing. Oh gosh, so I've learned, which is probably something that most people here have been able to do for ages, but I've learned how to pin a Google map. So I've just gone through the things to do in Candy, and I've got them all in Google Maps. Little green pins, so... I'm catching up with technology. Well guys, this is our breakfast. I'm on the M50, I forgot the GoPro. We're having, we're just waiting for our do dosas. But look where we are guys, just incredible. I've got the, uh, hopefully you can hear this audio because I haven't got the microphone on. And I've got the 22mm lens instead of the vlogging lens. Amazing, and look how beautiful she is. And now we've got the GoPro again. Look at this guys, Lake Candy, just amazing. This place is gorgeous. Of all the places Janet could have met me for this trip, I'm glad it was here, aren't you, baby? I think this is more relaxed than Nepal. The Candy, there's a temple here, I forget which one it is, but it's something that's on my list because Lake Candy was on the list. Let's go and have a look at the temple, okay, baby? This beautiful old building's a information centre. Down here is an old, I think they call them stoops with the water. It's a bit smelly in there now, I wouldn't be getting my water from there, but this statue is of the Right Honourable Seninyaki. He was the first Prime Minister of independent Sri Lanka and he's known as the father of the nation, so he's kind of like the Gandhi for the Sri Lankans. And if using that comparison has insulted anyone, I apologize, I didn't mean that at all. And guys, this is an extremely important Buddhist temple. I'm not going to intend to say the name, but I will write it here for you. Um, it's right next to, here's the lake here that we're at before. And um, it's right next to the lake. There's a couple more things to see, but for now we're going to have a bit of a wander around the temple. Yeah. And this is the slightly more modern section of the temple. But if we look around here, this is the older stuff. It kind of reminds me of Sien Reap. And those of you who follow the channel know this old architecture. Like this is really impressive. This is beautiful. But look at this guy. This would have been made, I think, without any mortar. Just incredible. Unbelievable. Now, you can go inside here. Costs about $10 a person, I think. 2,000 rupees, so about $7 US. So, um, but there's so much to see just being outside here. Look at these walls, unbelievable. And up here is a bit of a mix of the old and the new. The new built on top of the old. Here guys, it's a sleeping Buddha. Um, there's no light, there's only the natural light from this door, otherwise I'd show you better. Just beautiful. Stuti, my friend. Well, that was quite interesting. The, the old guy here is just explaining to me how Buddhism started. And in around 500 and something BC, so before Christ, there was a king and queen up near in Kashmir in northern India and she had a dream one night that a lotus flower walked around her room three times and please guys if I've got this slightly wrong I just heard a big big long story with an accent and the, when she told the king the next morning he asked her he asked his astrology experts to come and explain the dream they said well she's pregnant and she, when she had the baby, 
nine months later, seven lotus flowers grew out of the floor and the baby got up and walked. And when, the, like a newborn baby got up and walked and when she asked the astrologer again, how can a newborn baby walk? And where did these lotus flowers come from? And the astrologer said, oh, he's going to be a king or a very important religious leader. So when he was about 29 years old, he'd been kept, his father kept, wanted him to be a king, not a religious leader. And if I've got this wrong, guys, again, please, I've just only heard the story. He wanted his son to be a king, not a religious leader. So he kept him in the castle. And when he was 29 years old, he left the castle and he saw someone being taken to hospital. And he saw someone with gray hair the first time. And he asked, what does that mean? He said, oh, that person's old. And then he, the next time he left the castle, he heard someone, he found, saw someone being taken to hospital. He said, oh, what's wrong with that person? They said, oh, he's sick. And he'd never seen sick people before. And then the next time he saw someone being taken to the cemetery. And he said, what's wrong with that person? He said, well, they've died, they're dead. And he'd never seen dead people before. So he went off into the jungle or into the forest of Kashmir and went to a tree that's got a special name. It's the oldest tree in the world. And he sat there and he ate nothing but leaves for a while and he was getting quite sick and he decided, well, I don't want to die, I want to live. So he went and meditated and he ate more fruit and stuff and then he received enlightenment and he became the first Buddha. And Buddhism is a philosophy not a religion it was just explained to me and sorry guys I'm gonna I'll, I'll watch this monologue again if it's too boring I won't put it in but if I have put it in I hope you didn't get too bored and guys this is St Paul's Cathedral built by the Portuguese I imagine but maybe the Dutch in 1843 so it's on a par with the churches I've shown you in Australia and that's the temple just in the background there. So they're sort of all part of the same complex. And um, that's another thing about Buddhism is they accept all religions. But look up in the hill here. There's all soldiers guarding you so you can't go up there. But this is amazing, guys. Come to Candy. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. Just amazing. Oh, guys, photography's banned in here. So I have to do this a bit sneakily, but this is inside the St Paul's. And what a day that was, guys. Amazing. Um, we could have shown you more of Candy, but there's a million videos on Candy. We're just enjoying wandering around here, looking at all this beauty. That's just unbelievable, guys. But anyway, I've got plenty of footage to make a video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. May as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment. Give us a big thumbs up. Share this video everywhere you can. And we'll see you in the next one.